And he's got McCaffrey open, complete. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. 22 yards there, a first down. Yeah, big play there. When you have a running back that you can use like a wide receiver, when he has that kind of versatility, you do as they did there. Get him out of the backfield and give those defensive backs something else to worry about. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Now a give right side McCaffrey. The former LSU Tiger Dante Jackson on the stop. A one-yard gain could look like a disaster, but it all depends on how the game is going. Is it a series of one-yard gains running the ball? If that's the case, you might have to start thinking about throwing it a little bit more. But if it's just the occasional one-yard run, hey, congratulations to the defense. They won that one. Come back and get them the next time. Another run with McCaffrey on second down. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. Samuel in motion. They'll send a receiver here in motion right. See Purdy, he's going to shift him around. They'll find Ayuk open right side. And he'll be brought down shy of the first down marker at the 11. The offense staying out. They're going to go on fourth and two. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. Touchdown, 49ers. George Kittle in the final seconds of the first half. And the 49ers would extend their lead here just before halftime. And this drive, Charles, very well timed as they score with very little time remaining in this first half. And I'm reminded that they get the second half kickoff as well, so they can break this one wide open before the other guys have a chance to possess the football. And the kick makes it through, but flags come flying in as well. It appears we're going to get a roughing call tacked on. And they'll accept that penalty. Jake Moody to kick off for the 49 Maybe time for one play on offense. Seven seconds to go in the half as the kick is away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Ready. Likely time for one final snap as they start out first and ten. Ready. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And he's going to lose yardage. Not that it matters as the final seconds tick away. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. again here and he'll be out of bounds across the 30 yard line so we've hit intermission it's halftime this is the NFL and it's a presentation of EA Sports Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. A 
It's the 49ers out in front, and they will get the football first as well as we are back and started in the second half. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. Taking it right down Broadway. Still going inside the 30. And they are not going to catch him. He's in. Touchdown, 49ers. It's all about taking words and bringing them to life at halftime. I will guarantee you in their locker room, they talked about pressing the kicking game because you can get an advantage if you do it right, and they just did. Moody good with the extra point. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Jake Moody to kick off for the 49ers. So now the other return teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. At their own 24-yard line. Come on, This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. and 10 young now throw out wide gonna be incomplete well his struggles continue open targets and he keeps missing them pressing way too much he may have a big arm but until he learns how to harness it and have some touch he's going to continue to struggle blue strike A second down throw for Young. Flushed out right. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Looking to throw, Young. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. It's Jair Brown who's got it. And into the end zone, a pick six for the 49er D as they score the touchdown. And Charles, for this offense, those interception woes they kind of had in the first half have now followed them into the second half. And for this defense, they take advantage, turn that into a pick six. And that defense is in a spot now where they're thinking about ways to close this game out as confidently as they've been playing. I expect them to do exactly that. Jake Moody to kick off for the 49ers. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. We haven't exactly been treated to a nail biter in this one, CD. And if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out? And now here is another interception. Picked off by Logan Ryan. And he's able to get it back to the 41-yard line. Well, there's two sides to this coin. I mean, I'm what?
Telling them all that yesterday's price is not the same price. Eating up what's for breakfast, I can tell you what it tastes like. Wake up and I see red and I still don't got no brake lights. Yeah, feeling super fly. I look in the mirror, see ambition in my eyes. Got more than one formula, they love the way I drive. Yeah, I've been a prize, there's no need to be surprised. Baby, I'm a go getter, go getter. Yeah, you better go figure, go figure. Baby, I'm a go getter, go getter. Yeah, you better go figure, go figure. Try and get a big stack in the mud bag. Boy, you know I'm getting to it. It's like that. Try and get a big stack in the mud bag. Yeah, you know I'm getting to it. It's like that, like that. Hey, never feel the pressure. Please, not at all. I walk in when it's crunch time, leaves in the fall. Woman on me, only hit my name on the roll call. It's like there is no ground beneath my feet, I got no flaws. Uh, still humble, but just don't get it confused. You know who I am, there's no need to introduce. I am one of one, they can't stand it, but it's true. Sicker than the average, ain't no challenge, that's immune. The NFL is on EA Sports, and we are in Silicon Valley at Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here, as it'll be the New York Jets taking on the San Francisco 49ers. Kicker Jake Moody's got it teed up, and we are underway now from Santa Clara. Xavier Gibson now from his end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. They fake the give. Now Rodgers. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. They'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one, forced the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Freeze up your guys elsewhere. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. And now the 49ers signal for a timeout defensively. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. He completes that to Garrett Wilson. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They'll run with Hall. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. On first down, right back to Hall. And able to work about five yards out of this as he's taken down up near the 47. From the 47, it's second and five. Second and five at the 47-yard line.
Here's Rodgers to throw. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Well, that's absolutely going to fire this defense up. They made it their mission to deny that completion. And he came through with a nice hit and knocked it incomplete. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Now a play fake. Rodgers. Throw left side is intercepted. Picked off by Fred Warner. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. Offensively, a far from ideal start there with a pick on the opening drive. Yeah, not exactly what they were looking for. We know that. That's pretty obvious. The beauty, though, is it's happening early. If they don't panic, they don't compound this problem, they've got a long way to go and a chance to get back in it. Purdy going to lead the 49ers to the line, first and 10 at their 36-yard line. Oh, the first play of the game going to be intercepted. It's Chuck Clark picking it off. They'll take over first and 10 at their own 43-yard line. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. They'll start in excellent field position following the INT. And he's got this one across midfield into 49er territory. Second and a couple. Look at this, a tight end carry. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Oh, they go with a tight end carry. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. On play action. Now Rodgers. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Traverius Ward. And the 49ers are going to have it here as they'll start at their own seven. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. That opening drive ended with the INT. It didn't lead to points, but still not the way they were hoping to begin the game. But how about going and telling your defense, thank you, a huge thank you. You said it didn't lead to points, stalled off that drive. Now they've got a chance to redeem themselves, maybe reward their defense a little bit by putting some points on the board on this one. Debo going in motion left. Back to the ground on first, it's McCaffrey. And he'll take this up only to about his 18-yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. That felt like a trap, because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. Second and nine. And Purdy, he's going to shift him around into something else. Now a quick throw as they get it to Ayuk outside. And he'll be stopped in his tracks right at the 33. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. McCaffrey running up the middle. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Not liking the look. They'll change the play. There's Purdy on first and 10. And this pass caught by Gray. They'll wind up getting just a yard. 
And that will bring up second down. Oh, I see you nodding your head along with me, partner, because it's pretty obvious what they were trying to do there on the drag route. With his speed, they're hoping he can turn the corner and maybe take this to the house. But that was excellent work defensively to make sure once he caught it, he wasn't going anywhere. On second down, McCaffrey. And he'll be taken down here as it will take us to the end of the first quarter. We're scoreless after one. Seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. Play action. Now Purdy. He's got his target. That's complete. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Here's Purdy. That is caught by the tight end kill. Touchdown for the Niners. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the 49ers go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. Moody good with the extra point. And that makes the score 7-0. So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. From his end zone, Wilson. Look at this, middle of the field, a breakaway. It's a foot race. And all the way in, touchdown, New York. That kickoff return, 104 yards. And the Jets are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Zerline connects on the extra point, and we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Well, certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time. How Charles, remember, they had the short field. They took it in the end zone. Now this is going to have to be a longer, more sustained drive if they want to get points. Yeah, a little bit more of a quick strike opportunity last time by where they were on the field, and you're exactly right about that. But now, backed up a little bit. What's that old expression we love to use? Time to matriculate the ball down the field and try and do it again. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. Down the right sideline. Touchdown. Debo Samuel. An 80-yard touchdown. And the 49ers have now taken the lead. Moody good with the extra point. And that makes the score 14 to 7. So after the main field goal by Moody, he's back out to kick this one away. From his end zone, Wilson. And he returns this to the 22. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath, first do no harm. And right now, they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor. But thank you, Dr. Davis. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Now Rodgers. He's going to look deep down the field. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Trying to get the ball to his tight end in the center of the field, where he runs a lot of his routes, and ostensibly is extremely comfortable. He was hoping he'd find a seam and a big gainer to go along with it. But that one was incomplete. Throwing a 
Chris Rogers on third down. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Has a pretty good throw on the curl route there. Third down, and they pick up a first. Defense should be aware for that, right? They should be aware, but it's so hard sometimes. Yeah, it's not easy. Because <laughs> when, when they sell that route really well, you think they're going upfield, then they curl back, show their numbers to the quarterback, and complete the play. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Rodgers to throw once more. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. Nice progress down the field. Was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again. Or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Second and ten. They'll give to Hall. And he's got this one across midfield into 49er territory. The Jets on third down. They've been okay two for three thus far. This is third and eight. Ball again. A good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 35-yard line. From the 34 now, here's first and ten. A quick throw here out to Cobb. It'll be a gain of five, and it's second down. And it's a rush to the line right now for the Jets. On second down, a run with Hall. Stopped short of the 25. The second effort couldn't free him. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 13-yard line. Into the red zone. It's Rodgers. This will be caught at about the five. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Obviously, this has not been a banner game throwing the football. So what you got to do, you got to kind of down focus, don't you think? Find the tight end, take some easier completions. The interception last drive, there he hits the reliable target. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. They're going to go with a tight end here on the running play. And he gets halfway there, down to the one-yard line. And now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. They give it off here to the tight end. And trying to push forward, but he is going to be stuffed up in the backfield. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time because, let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. The San Francisco defense trying to hold tough again. This is third and goal. Throwing is Rodgers. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Logan Ryan. Accelerating and off he goes. Trying to get paid, yeah. Look what I made. Thousands of people are knowing this J. No, I never change. Can put myself back yeah. in the minimum wage. 
Gotta keep following this crunch time. Yeah. Eating these rappers is lunchtime. You the man only sometimes. End your career with a punchline. The industry told me the front lines. I'm fing up mine. Getting money in my bloodline. Talking on my mind. Keep with a rip. Uh, don't want to talk of a name by the dip. Nah, made a name for me real quick. 